Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amaya, and yesterday I posted a video with my friend Alexis. We did the Never Have I Ever Challenge, so you definitely should go check that out. But today I'm doing on how to get wavy hair with a flat iron. And the flat iron that I'm using for the video is the Paul Mitchell flat iron. Um, I recently just got it for Christmas a couple months ago. And the setting that I like to keep it on is 360. And I like using this flat iron because it's like a little bit like wider so you get like bigger waves in your hair and it looks more natural and not too much like you're trying. So I'm just going to get right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your hair is like nice and combed through so it like makes it easier, easier and goes on smoother. So I'm just going to brush my hair. So now that I have my hair brushed out, I'm going to be sectioning off my hair. So I like to take this clip, um, and I'm about to look very funny, but you're just going to like section off your hair to where you want it to. You can make smaller sections. My hair is just short because I got a haircut, so I only make like one section. And yeah, you're just going to put it up, and I'm sorry if I look weird. So now that you have your hair sectioned off, you're going to want to take your first piece by your ear. And I'm using this Chi flat iron. It's not plugged in. I just wanted to like show y'all better without burning off my hair. So what you do is you're going to take the flat iron and you're going to bump it like this with your wrist. Let it down and do the other way. Then you're just going to do the other way and then you do the other way. So all that my hand is doing is this the whole entire time. So now I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. Take it. Okay. So yeah, this is what the curl winds up looking like. And basically you're just going to do this throughout your whole entire head. I'm going to, I'm going to do it one more time. Take it. You want to go right from your root and Looking your wrist and don't hold it on your hair for too long. Okay, so now that the bottom section is done, you're gonna go ahead and let out your top piece. And you're just gonna, no, I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna section off one side of my head. So I'm just going to section off one side of my head and go ahead and do the other side and it's kind of rough right now so I'm going to go ahead and comb it out. And I'm just going to be doing the same thing I did from the bottom. Now the top I'm going to really flick my wrist a lot harder because you want it to be like uh, more defined. Like you see that? Like how it sticks out like that? Uh, because of the top part of your head, so like the bottom parts really don't matter in my opinion, but whatever. And I'm just gonna keep doing this 
all throughout my hood. Okay, so now that you've gotten like your whole head done, you're just basically gonna like fix it to where you want it. I normally like my hair down in the middle now. So what I'm gonna be doing now is, you can leave it like this if you want, but I like to like go back and like fix some pieces and I like to like tease it. So like I take this like teasing brush and the first place I like to go is the back of my head. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is cheesing, teasing it just a little bit like that and to where it like does that, but then you just like smooth it out. So now it's like a little bit like, you know, more raised. I like my hair looking a bit more messy. So if you want it to look neat, like you probably shouldn't tease it, but this is just like what I like to do again. Okay, so now my hair looks kind of weird, so I'm just gonna go back and what I do is I just like fix pieces and I'm just gonna like play around with it until I get it to where I like it. So this is the finished results for my hair. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and leave video suggestions on what you would like me to do next. And thanks for watching.